Hello everyone, I am Praveen here. In this video, I am going to show capturing the geometry for this head with the biharmonic method and also on weight painting and then going to focus on the facial setup. There are many ways of facial rigging. Here I am going to show some basic concepts through procedural. This is just a template head which you can get it inside the Houdini itself. Yeah, this is the thing. So I've just imported the geometry and taken the out through null. For this head, I've just drawn three bones. Uh, for the neck, head and for the jaw. Inside the rigging shelf, through the bones I've just drawn. Yeah, bone tool. Now these are the bones. Now I am going to capture the geometry with this capture geometry tool and going to use the biharmonic with the selection type of root of skeleton. Select the geometry, accept selection. Since I have mentioned the root of skeleton, I am going to select the top root and then accept selection. Now the geometry has got captured. If I rotate the neck bone, yeah, it's fine. If I rotate the head bone also, yeah. Okay, the front one. You will see this later. The sideways, it's nice, and the back also. But if I rotate the head bone to the front, we can see the volume loss. Over here the neck part has got captured well. But if I rotate the head, the head volume has not been captured well. It's because of the jaw bone which passes to the adjacent. See if I select the jaw bone can see by default in the biharmonic method the geometries which has the basic volumes like these cylinder even the fingers arms and even the spines legs everything captures good by default when the situation comes as like these bones we may end up like this so We'll fix this later. Before that, let's have a look inside that network. There is a line swap which the lines have drawn with the help of the bones. You can see the points, how the lines have drawn and then it passes to the tip embed swap which creates a tetrahedral mesh from the input geometry and then all these informations transfers to the biharmonic swap then the entire network gets cooked and transfers to the stash node then the geometry is getting deformed through this bone deform node I have animated the jaw and head bones to fix these areas with the help of the paintings. Now to give the influence for the head part and also for the jaw area, the first step which I am going to do is, first I am going to select the points for the head region. For that let me add a group and then switch to points let me select the head points and then press enter let me rename this as head selection which is head cell and let me add another group switch to points for the jaw one 
let me select the points for the jaw area press enter let me rename this as jaw selection now to edit the influence for the head part I am going to add capture override this for the head part you can also get this node in the object level through this edit capture weights now with this capture region I'm going to select the head part and I have already selected the points for the head group so I'm going to choose head cell press enter we can see the influences through the bone colors so jaw has the influences over this area and the neck and then the head also I'm going to override this influence with this replace existing override and once I switch the weight to 1 you can see the entire head region has taken influence to edit this I'm going to use the capture layer paint so with this I'm going to paint hold the control and the shift key to reduce the radius of the brush and then I'm first I'm going to smoothen this and then for reflective uh, let's see the axis yeah to the X then I'm okay let me start smoothen this and over this area means the jaw area has to override the influence from the head so I'm going to do the same process which I'm going to create another capture override for the jaw I'm going to select the region and the respective points the same way I'm going to in the override we need to switch to replace existing override yeah you can see the jaws influence and in the paint shop you can easily get the region by by the control key and then the middle mouse button you can easily select the switch to other regions now I'm going to smoothen this area
we need the time to get the desired output now you can see over here it's too much deformed yeah you can see you can switch the region here also I'm going to add the influence from the neck part so which we can get back I'm going to add to the paint same way for the head region inside the mouth we can adjust the influence through the opacity yeah this is just okay let's stop the video over here and let's continue on the facial rigging in the next video thank you